I'm looking out at the ocean right now, and there's a massive rock formation, and you can see the rivets and the rocks. And what caused those rivets in the rocks was compound pounding of the ocean hitting that rock over and over and over again. And over time, that ocean breaks the rock down. Not one time when the water hits it, not two times, not five times. When you add up years and years and years of that water hitting the rock, it breaks it down. Most people, they will give up on their dream before the compounding has been allowed to kick in. So they'll work at it and they'll work at it and they'll work at it and they don't see the breakthrough. But what they don't understand is that rock was getting ready to break if you just keep pounding against it. But because most people don't see the evidence, so I want you to accept today that you're going to be relentless, that you're going to keep coming, that you're like a dripping faucet. You're like those waves hitting the rock. Other people are going to get slowed down. Other people are going to take a break. Other people are going to flinch. Other people are going to cool it. Other people are going to believe they've made it. But you're going to be relentless. You're going to be re repetitious. You may not be the fastest. You may not be the smartest. You may not be the strongest. You may not be the most beautiful. You may not have the most articulate thoughts and ideas in the world. But what you got is compound pounding. What you got is one more. And when they get weak, you just keep coming. When they flinch, you blow their doors off. That's how you win in life, is you keep getting after it and keep getting after it until the job gets done. So a lot of people can be excited for a day. They can be excited for a month. Some people can be excited for a year or two or three years. But the winners, they stay excited as long as it takes to get the job done. They keep after it until the job gets done. They never stop. They're always after it. And that's where their strength comes from. That's where their confidence comes from is knowing their capacity to keep coming at you and that all your competition is going to get weak, they're going to get tired, they're going to surrender, they're going to give in, they're going to think they made it, they're going to take a break, they're going to cool it, and you just keep coming, that you run down your dream, that you knock down your dream. You can win, you should win, and you will win if you just keep coming, you keep getting after it, you keep doing one more, you can control this. You're going to knock down whatever that rock is that's been between you and your dream. You're going to keep after. You're going to be relentless. You're not going to give in. You're going to be the person who stays excited until the entire job gets done. Until that dream is real. And you know long term, all these other people, they're going to flinch. They're going to get weak. And you won't. You use the force of you, the force of effort, the force of sustained effort over an extended period of time to wear out the obstacles in front of you and your dream.